Hey everyone, my name is Steve, and welcome to Gamer Stranded. This is a show where I take two video games from any console, from any generation, face them off with one another, and decide which one I can't live without, and which one gets tossed out to sea. Through the decades, video games have gave us some really iconic characters, too many to count really. But every once in a while, we get those characters who transcend the title of iconic, and they become truly legendary. First up, it's the Blue Bomber himself in Mega Man Legends 2. Released after the PS2, Mega Man Legends 2 sadly became an overlooked game. Despite generally positive reviews, it never brought in the audience it aspired to create. Through retro collecting and the eventual release on the PSN store, however small, Legends 2 found a place in people's hearts, even if it never obtained the title of being commercially successful. In Legends 2, you play as Mega Man, on a quest to obtain a mysterious treasure called the Mother Load. However, foul forces are at play, and it becomes a race to see who gets to the treasure first. <laughs> Alright then, let's have some fun with Mega Man! Long time no see, Mega Man! Take this! Good old light-hearted fun. This is the core concept that drives Mega Man Legends 2. Now, I have to be honest with you. I am not the biggest Mega Man fan. I played a few of them and I'm fairly familiar with some of the major characters, but I'm pretty clueless when it comes to the overall Mega Man story. What did you say, you big tin can? Who do you think you are? I... With that being said, Legends 2 doesn't require any previous knowledge of past games. In fact, it doesn't really require knowledge of the first Legends game, which I've never played before. Like any other titles in the franchise, you can jump in at any point and still have fun. The graphics are quite blocky, but there's some charm to them. No one has journeyed to Forbidden Island and returned to tell the tale. I feel like this is done by design. Legends 2 does not forget where it came from, and the franchise has firmly planted roots in gaming history. It's a shooter at heart, but now it's crossed into a 3D world. And this comes with many design decisions that really make this game a compelling and innovative entry in the Mega Man universe. But now I intend to give to you the opportunity to see it for yourselves. Professor Beryl and myself are confident that the Mother Lode, which has been sought after by all mankind for numerous generations, does lie buried somewhere on It would be boring if Mega Man Legends 2 was just a 3D, carbon copy of past titles. Pretty much a run-and-gun shooter. However, Legends blasts through its 2D restraints and creates an experience which is more on par with an RPG game. Heck, you have an airship from the start. How freaking cool is that? What you call the Motherlode is not what you think it might be. No, it's not a treasure at all. It's a catastrophe waiting to happen. Crafting, check. Weapon and armor loadouts, check. Cool, epic story, check. This list could go on and on. Huh? The story is what really caught my attention. We are almost immediately introduced to this long, anime-style cutscene that plants the seeds for the overall story, while reintroducing some of the key players. Each character in Mega Man Legends 2 is fully voiced, and they all have an extremely colorful personality that complements the bright graphical tone. It is just a joy to watch. It's one of those games where I just couldn't wait until the next cutscene. Look at that, Giza! Isn't it amazing? <laughs> I smell a mighty big treasure, Tron! Get out of my way, I can't oh, see! Oh, oh. Watch what you're doing! You're trying to get me killed! And then there's the gameplay. Mega Man's platformer and shooter roots are still present. It's extremely fun to blast my way through dungeon after dungeon, while picking up loot and items along the way. Mega Man Legends 2 is such a unique entry into the Mega Man universe. 
Its game design is bold, stylish, and quite challenging. While the overall good old light-hearted experience left me craving more and more. How can you be so sure? You can't judge a book by its cover. I'm sure if I sat down and thought about it, I could name a lot of iconic characters from movies or TV shows that had some sort of impact on me. However, I could confidently name many, many more characters from video games that left an impression on me. Video game characters just seem to stay with me longer. Legends like Mario, Sonic, Solid Snake, Cloud Strife, these are characters that I just spent so much of my time with and in a sense live their stories. And I think this form of character remembrance is probably because a person kind of takes on this interactive role while playing games. Movies and other mediums I take on a passive role. I get engrossed in the story, and I watch the character develop and grow. But that's just it. I'm watching. With video games, I take on this interactive role. I'm simply just not watching anymore. I'm living the story, and I'm becoming that character by influencing his or her actions. And this interactive role is an attribute to video games that I feel just keeps getting deeper and deeper with each new console generation. This next legend needs no introduction. He's the man of many masks, that knows how to rock an ocarina. It's no other than Link in The Legend of Zelda Majuro's Mask. Released the same year and month as Mega Man Legends 2, Majuro's Mask has you once again take control of Link, who's on a quest to save the world from a full-on collision with the moon. With the addition of the ocarina from the previous installment, the featured gameplay mechanic is the ability to put on masks that transform Link into different beings, each with their own special abilities. Let's get stranded with The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh boy. I feel like I need to lay a little groundwork before getting into the heart of this video. Sometimes it's difficult sorting through my game lists and creating matchups. I take several things into account like release date, console generation, and maybe the Metacritic score. However, I seem to like a lot of games that fall into the 70-ish range, so that's not really a deciding factor. When I came up with the idea for this matchup, I instantly got incredibly excited. I thought to myself, this is THE matchup. I couldn't imagine these two games going up against anything else. And let me tell you, I thought this would be a good matchup, maybe even the best on the show. But it wasn't even close. I actually felt really disappointed after playing Majora's Mask. It definitely has its pros and cons, and it's so weird because I love Zelda games, but for several reasons Majora's Mask just doesn't hold up for me. The graphics have always been pretty hard on the eyes, it's just so blocky and quite honestly fairly bland. But it's not all bad. The classic Zelda-style gameplay is still here, and there's still an epic save-the-world type story. The Ocarina is an awesome mechanic that carried over from the previous installment, and the masks are a welcome addition that help build upon the game's already dark tone and setting. But after switching off the Nintendo 64, I was feeling really, really bad for not enjoying my time with Majora's Mask. All these excuses kept running through my head when thinking about creating this video. 
Like, maybe my taste in games has changed over the years. Or maybe I'm just having an off night. But the more I thought about it, the more I came to the conclusion that these are simply just not true. If anything, my taste in games has expanded throughout the years. And there's just no such thing as an off night. Either I'm having fun, or I'm not. It was kind of strange to go back and edit this video, because you can clearly see how bored I am while playing this game. A drastic change from how excited I was playing Mega Man Legends 2. I was in the zone, and honestly, I just wanted to hook back up the PS1 and continue playing Legends 2. So there it is, and honestly, I'm a little shocked. <laughs> So this one was interesting. I thought for sure this would be a closer matchup. But the game I choose to be stranded with is hands down Mega Man Legends 2. What? I hope you all enjoyed this video, and please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.